those slopes and the sea and was generally the choice of wealthy Romans. Life in Pompeii was built on dissipation and perversion. The same applied to the neighboring city of Herculaneum. Yet one of the most violent volcanic eruptions in history put an end to the existence of these lovely places. The perverted life of the people of the city turned to stone by the volcanic lava can today be seen in all its detail. The wealth of civilizations that lived hundreds or even thousands of years ago served absolutely no purpose. What is left is their remains with their terrible message. This is how God reminds us that we need to learn from the fate of past peoples in Surah 30 of the Quran. Have they not traveled in the earth and seen the final fate of those before them? They had greater strength than them and cultivated the land and inhabited it in far greater numbers than they do. Their messengers also came to them with the clear signs. God would never have wronged them, but they wronged themselves. Alongside what has been covered so far, there is another very important matter that everyone needs to think about. One's own death. Most people try to avoid thinking about their own deaths. They prefer not to think that the day will come when they no longer are living in this world. And yet, death is all around. During the course of this film, some 6,000 people will die in the world. People do not witness death in their daily lives. Death is used to create excitement on television and in the cinema. Yet, death is actually the inevitable end awaiting everyone and is the greatest truth in the life of this world. Billions of people have so far lived and died in this world. Each one of the skeletons you see were once people like you, with ideals, families and hopes for the future. Yet all that remains of them is these bones on display in a museum. None of these people who lived a hundred years ago is alive today. In another hundred years or so, all of the people you are seeing at the moment will be dead. And not just them, but everyone you know, love or dislike, 
and you yourself will be dead. Because every beat of your pulse in your veins brings you ever closer to the hour of your death. The concept known as time is actually a countdown to the hour of people's deaths. For instance, it is already ordained how many more days, hours and minutes everybody watching this film will live. And that remaining span is all the time drawing closer to zero. And eventually, the inevitable moment will arrive and the countdown will stop. Your heart that has beaten for so many years will cease to beat and you will breathe your last breath and death will take you away. Your body will begin to grow cold You are now watching images of a body growing cold after death, taken by a thermal imaging camera. Body temperature falls rapidly, and death moves through it. We must not forget that with death, a person embarks on his true life, one that will last forever. Every human being will be resurrected after death and have to account to God for his deeds. Those who believe in him with a sincere faith during their lives in this world, who truly serve him, and who repent their sins will find their reward in the endless blessings of paradise. But those who prefer the transitory attractions of the life of this world to God's good pleasure and the hereafter will suffer such torments as they had never imagined. That being the case, what man must do is to avoid being taken in by the transitory attractions of the life of this world. None of the beautiful things in this world must be an end for anyone. They are only a means. Man's true purpose is to serve God, who created him and gave him so many blessings, and to seek his good pleasure. Man must know that everything in the life of this world is only transitory. It is God who is timeless. In one verse, God describes the life of this world in these words. Everyone on earth will pass away, but the face of your Lord will remain, master of majesty and generosity. In this film, we have examined the truth about the life of this world and have seen clear proof that this world is a temporary place. Everything in this world comes to an end, man included. Every human being sooner or later dies and goes to the hereafter, leaving everything he possessed in this world behind him. Being caught up in a passion for the worthless things of this world, turning one's back on religion for their sake, and leading a life full of ambition, tension and doubt, lead one to the most grievous loss possible.
Everyone must surrender himself to God, trust in Him, and live by the values He has taught. He must be tolerant of and modest, forgiving and helpful to others. He must behave honestly, sincerely, and justly, and be willing to make sacrifices. A person who displays these virtues will be protected from the temptations of selfish desires. Only in that way can he be saved. As God has revealed in the Quran, it is the people who are safeguarded from the avarice of their own selves who are successful. Attention!